Welcome to pattern making class. This is Annette Julie and today we are working on a wing tip collar. First, start by making a mandarin collar from my last video. Then, once you have that mandarin collar with the seam allowance and everything on it, take a piece of pattern paper Get that grain line, fold it, take your mandarin collar and match grain line to grain line. Okay, let's go ahead and match that and you can tape or weight it down. My last video I taped it, so this video we're just going to weight it. Go ahead and copy off the outer edge. Use pencil. I'm always using pens so you guys can see my videos. But they can make a little mess and be permanent. Whoop, there you go. Okay, now before I take that up there, I need to transfer that shoulder notch. Let's go to our ruler, capture that shoulder notch. Bring that shoulder notch in, shoulder, okay. Now, this isn't gonna be the mandarin collar anymore, we're gonna alter it. This is going to be our wing tip collar. And where do we use this wing tip? Oh, we use this on a tuxedo shirt. Okay, so what we have to do with this is take this straight up, there we go, and we can style a point to it, and it can curve in, like so, and this also includes at the center front and the top edge, that includes your quarter inch seam allowance. So if a style line doesn't seem big enough, bring it out because this is going to include your quarter inch seam allowance. <clears throat> so really the wing tip would look like there. There's that seam allowance. Looks like that. When we fold it back, it's gonna look real cute. Okay, let's go ahead and cut that out. Pop a weight on it. Make sure you capture that curve nicely. There we go. And one more cut down the front here. And that is our wing tip design. So when we're looking at that collar, this folds down like that makes a lovely design. Now, you can also add an extension at the center front. This collar just meets right now. There is no extension. So this would meet with the other side and not overlap. Minus the seam allowance, the collar design would look like this. That's our wingtip design, but we haven't decided if we want to make a top or under collar or have this be a cut too, and we haven't talked about interfacing either. So in the last video, we just made the mandarin collar the same. So on the wingtip, let's just make this two separate pieces. 
so that you know how to do that. You can do that for your mandarin as well. Let's go ahead and move this down, give ourselves enough room. We're matching the grain line at the center, center back right there. Go ahead and weight or tape this down. Now let's trace off the outer edge. This all includes the seam allowance. Transfer that shoulder notch. Okay, and now we're ready to go ahead and lift that pattern piece up. So let's start with this being our uh, wingtip collar. This is the under collar. We're going to cut one. And we're also going to, and that is cut one self fabric to be more specific, but you can also write just cut one. And then you're also going to cut one interfacing. All right, you don't need to trim the interfacing it's smaller than this piece. It's not done like that in the industry. We don't normally reduce the interfacing by an eighth of an inch anywhere. It's a matching piece to bind the edges together. When you start doing that, it's a little bit more like tailoring and and that's not what this is about at the moment. Back to the mandarin collar, look. And the wingtip collar, you can do the same thing I'm doing for the mandarin as I'm doing for the wingtip. You can make this larger, because we're going to make this the, the top collar. On this top edge here, you can make that an eighth of an inch larger on the whole top edge, not on the point. Go ahead and let's label this. This is our wing tip collar, and this is now going to be the top collar cut one self fabric also this is a collar that needs to stand up we're going to cut one interfacing this has that quarter inch seam allowance here is the shoulder notch let's draw it in here so you know that it has it on the seams there's that quarter inch seam allowance already in there. And we're not extending it up here. Let's go ahead and trim. Cut away the extra paper and leave it for the next collar. Trimming those curves. Now we're along the straight line. If you want to remind yourself that you have that quarter inch up there, feel free to draw it when you need it. And here is the shoulder. Now something else is going to make these different. If this is the under collar here, we're going to have a notch that's one quarter of an inch away from the center back. And when we notch this, right, it's going to go all the way through. That double notch notation, that always means under and back.
Now on the top collar, we can just have a single notch at the center back. Single notch always means top and front. If you don't have a notcher at home, just take your scissor, make a little teeny itsy bitsy triangle, hardly anything at all. Make really small triangles if necessary. And you don't need to notch the seam allowance. Top collar and our under collar. This is the end of our wingtip collar demonstration, and you would find this on a tuxedo shirt. This is Annette Julie. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Au revoir.